When we put iron 3 hydroxide plus water, that's FeOH3 plus H2O, we might expect that it would dissolve, break apart, or dissociate into its ions. Iron's a metal, and then this OH group, that's a group of nonmetals. So a metal with nonmetals, that would be ionic, and they're often soluble. So if it did dissociate, we have our solid iron 3 hydroxide, looks like this right here. We put it in liquid water. And if it dissociates, we have iron 3, so it would dissociate into Fe3+, plus, plus that hydroxide ion, that OH, which has a negative charge. To balance it, we need to put a coefficient of 3 in front of the OH. And we could write aqueous to show it's dissolved in water. That way we wouldn't need to write the water again. But we do need to check a solubility table. Hydroxides, this OH here attached to a metal, often they're insoluble. So let's look at a solubility table to see if this actually happens. Here's a solubility table. The positive ions, they're down here. The negative ions are on the top. So we're looking for iron 3, Fe3+. We go down here, here's Fe2. Here's iron 3, Fe3+. We'll go over until we hit the hydroxide, which is right here. So if we go down here, and iron 3, we come over, and we see it says I, and I means insoluble. So it's actually not going to dissolve. Let's go back to our equation. So in this case, there is no dissociation. Iron 3 hydroxide is insoluble in water. So really nothing happens. You'd have a beaker with water, and at the bottom you'd have some of this red powder, the iron 3 hydroxide. That's because it's insoluble in water. This is Dr. B with FeOH3 plus H2O, iron 3 hydroxide in water. Thanks for watching.